I just love that about the game. Like, like everything is either so expensive or not expensive. Like, it, and and you're buying just colors, just reskins. Music, oriental music video. <sighs> That's what the game is saying, okay? <laughs> Nobody give me grief. This is what the game is calling it, okay? I guess I can see what, what kind of quote-unquote oriental it wants out of me. Nobody give me grief on that. That's what the game wants. Sharon, I haven't got a clue how a bell dancer would do her makeup, but I'm pretty sure you know what to do. I've got every fate on you. Okay, we're going for belly dancing. I had a feeling on that, but I wasn't sure. Mocha or brown foundation? Mocha or brown foundation? Are, are you sure about that? It's, it's literally her own skin color. I'm not adding or subtracting anything. Is she skin damaged? Is that the reason? No, I'm literally not adding anything. This is not me, okay? Nobody put this on me. Wait, mocha and brown foundation, orange or brown foundation and lipstick ethnic stickers. What is that verbal diarrhea? Do you mean like orange, orange, what do you call it? Orange, this? Oh my god, this game has spelling mistakes? I find this very impressive that a game like this has spelling mistakes. That's the last thing a game like this should have. Uh... Okay, so orange lipstick as well. People really love their orange. We're all about the carrots today. I don't think belly dancers went for the orange colors. Belly dancers usually are more vibrant with their colors. Not this. Yeah, belly dancers never went for orange. I, God, this is such a fetish game, honestly. French people never change. And apparently they also want stickers. They want ethnic stickers. Okay. Again, I want to make this clear. Nobody give me grief. This is not what I'm saying. What do you mean you want... E lipstick ethnic stickers, okay? That's what they're literally saying? Um... So they want the eye of... 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 Omar Mukhtar? But what is a quote-unquote ethnic sticker? Racism? Sorry, my bad. I'm not racist enough to know what you mean. Please don't tell me to accept Asian, like, tattoos. Okay, no, it won't. Okay, apparently the eye of Omar Mukhtar needs to kiss her. <laughs> you fought real hard for your country to liberate Libya. And now I'm just gonna put a little eye from your own... Well, actually, it's Egyptian eye, so never mind. Can I just put this anywhere? No. Oh, it can't be anywhere. I mean, like, this is, this is like, code vein. It doesn't let you do anything you want. You can't resize it or anything. What a useless feature. Orange or brown eyeshadow. Again, the developers really love their browns. Sorry, not their brown. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. Their oranges. The developers have like two or three colors they like and they keep on spamming it. At no point I got like um, the... the blues. I mean, I guess technically this entire game is making me feel blue, huh? Um, caramel or hazel brown contact, discreet eyelashes. That's not at all what belly dancers used to do! Okay, you already have the eyelash uh, eye color, sorry. No tattoos. Long and wavy hairstyle, auburn or red. Well, apparently we already found it. Girl, you look like a street walker, honestly, and I'm very sorry about that. Oh, only one specific hair does it. Not like at the start where several did. Um, not filed why, with orange or brown nail varnish. Ethnic nail sticker. Again, I want to make this clear. I'm not the one here just spamming the word ethnic every five seconds. This is the French game, okay? If you have problem with French games and their translations, take it up with them. Here, enjoy just one slice. And then stickers. Um. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what about some old man? Okay, old man approve of this, so validate. Time to design the perfect belly dancer's outfit, which I think I'm supposed to have all the parts, although I don't believe it. Oh god, you look terrible. Claire, can you believe it? I'm going to be playing one of the Sultan's dancers in the next Psy B video? You're going to film it in the real Persian palace. I'm relying on to make me an outfit for that occasion. So I'm going to make you an outfit and all that makeup and you're going to fly all the way to Persia to do it in a real castle. I'm going to I'm going to assume the plane is living with the next hour, right? Otherwise your makeup is not going to last with the carrots. That carrot is going to go rotten by the time you land there. Be that Bastille. Very specific. Long draped skirt with split up the middle and bolero shrug. Okay, this is not what belly dancers wear. But I'm gonna give you the little fancy one so it goes with the style. I'm doing a lot, I'm putting more effort than the developers did. A long draped skirt. This? Ah, there's an extra here! Oh, does it change based upon the combo? Also, this is not what belly dancers used to wear. Uh, sorry, I don't know a lot about belly dancers. All I know about belly dancers is like from, you know, like your traditional movies or whatever you want to call them. Um, it, it's like transparent. Like, like it's, it's basically not all the way to the legs because you don't want the belly dancer to trip on it. And it's like semi-transparent or whatever you want to call it. Uh, patterns and prints. Patterns of interweaving lines. The prints are spindles. Interweaving lines. Interweaving lines. <laughs> Indians? Why is it just called like that? Oh my god! Okay, so I think... Okay, yellow, orange, or brown? What do you mean yellow, orange, or brown? Okay, um... Okay, first of all, brown? Okay, I think I found it. Condensed Victoria design. I don't think that's it, but okay. None of these... Okay, so there's an invisible indicator in the background that says if this is it or not. You know what, let's just go with this messy one. Yeah, let's go with the messy one, that barely makes any sense. Okay, so how do I sort you? I lost a point on that? Oh my god, it's this one! But then, why don't it inc- Okay, listen here, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. I, I just lost a star? Why? Oh no, sorry, I gained it. Wait, I just confused myself in confusion. Okay, very tacky, but okay. Uh, Sandals? Be belly dancers usually dance without shoes on. Uh, so they don't trip and die. And the developers are gonna force me to make her wear high heel sandals. Yep. They're gonna make a woman wear high heel sandals to die to die in belly dancing. <laughs> Biege or brown? Let's go with brown. Or Biege is fine. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna die anyways. Uh Biege or Brown jet set glasses. Are you serious? And a purse. Yay, catwalk time! Hopefully she doesn't trip and die in that dress! Say a bee wants to see the dancers doing mini catwalk in their costumes before deciding on who gets which part and they'll be positioned on stage for a shoot. I can't afford to mess up. Okay, it's not my problem. I'm not the one telling you how to walk. Come on, woman! Have some agency on yourself! Girl, have some self-respect! Oh my god, it looks like it's transparent. Sorry, my bad. I literally wasn't trying to get the color combination to make it transparent. I, it just tell me like brown and yellow colors uh, for the combination. I was trying to match up with the belt color and the other color. You know, this game is apparently worse than The Sims when it comes to color matching characters. Don't you love it when games like this, uh, who have one thing, 
Like, they have one specialty, which is make fashion. But they can't even have the textures done correctly for the fashion. Even the textures have a hard time, like, lining up together. Don't you love that? Why even make a fashion game if we're not gonna put in effort with, like, the colors and stuff and, like, the different outfit potentials? Why even make one? Who, who is this game catered to? God, Ubisoft really sucks, man, not gonna lie. Ubisoft will publish any trash to any demographic as long as it makes, like, one dollar for them. Oh yeah, I forgot I have to take a picture, I think. I'm still not sure if I'm forced to take the picture. Oh, I'm making it fast. Ooh, playing fast and loose. That's what she said. See, they gave you like a fast one. Like near the end, so they subtract two points automatically. But then I think they give you like an easy one, so you can recover the point. Uh, and then another easy one to recover the point. And then I think the... I'm on the last one, or did I do the last one? Okay, bye. Belly Dancer. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie really enjoyed that with Daniel Craig. Okay, photography time. I mean, we already did a mini catwalk. What do you need the pictures for? The video director is demanding to see some photos of the costumes before he starts filming. Could you take a few shots? Yep, I can, my queen, in, in a Riyadh. What's a Riyadh? Okay, French developers? You guys, this is a Riyadh, right? 1950s America, alcohol prohibition? Riyadh. This is a Riyadh. Why not capitalize the word? Okay, you see, it's not capitalized. The word is not capitalized, so I don't know what a Riyadh is. Apparently, this is a Riyadh. This, like like open space like this um this hallway like round hallway that's connected through these doors um like the center basically i'm sorry is there a beggar in the background there's a beggar in the background i'm gonna use this <laughs> oh shut up with your fake blur man rtx off <laughs> yep this is a headshot second Three photos vertical, no filter in the Riyadh free composition. Yeah, free space time. Go over there, show me the begging man. Ah, oh, there is a begging man. Shoot, come on, go over there. Move! Why don't they want to let the old, the begging man in the background see? We gotta show the people what kind of world-class assholes we are. We take pictures of the Riyadh with like begging men in the background starving and we're taking pictures of a woman in front of them. Well, I mean, that's a picture anyways, they're not real. I mean, the working class isn't real, is it? Uh, so what did I fail? Uh, so my composition here failed. Okay, the game lied to me about the orientation again. What is the spelling errors? This is a game that like children can make and the developers still have spelling errors in them. Are you serious? Oh, look, I'm a Vogue designer, so I start wearing a skirt. Claire, you've done an amazing job. Say a B picked me out in the catwalk and decided she wants me to dance right next to her in the video. Dance in high heels? Good luck. I don't know how to thank you. Don't thank me, you might die by the end of the year. Interesting. Very interesting. I think Mrs. Doherty will be delighted to see these images. Now, I just need to find a place where this tape will be out of reach of nosy busybodies. What? That smile doesn't bode well. What? Clara? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not surprised by anything. What I'm surprised by is when Sullivan was like, that smile doesn't bode well. Um, how did he see the guy smiling? Yes, who's speaking? Who do you think, you stupid bitch? It's a phone! They write the name! It's Scott. Have you got a minute? Of course. It's a bit awkward. This morning, I caught Mike watching one of the security tapes. <laughs> There's a lawsuit pending, but what can we do? Enough said. I know exactly what you're getting at. You were filmed, Clara. I don't know what you were up to last night, but Mike saw you. You could be in serious trouble. Where's the tape now? Mike had it with him. He will have definitely put it in safe hiding somewhere. Why don't you follow it? Thanks for letting me know, Scott. Are you gonna be okay? Yes, I'll manage. I hope things work out. Keep me posted. What a lazy boyfriend. He's not even gonna help the girlfriend now. Okay, 
see you later. I must find that videotape. Oh, but how? If Mike's hidden it somewhere, there's only one thing I can do. I need to get a hold of something that belongs to him and get Marty to have a good sniff of it. His nose will lead me right to the tape. That's not how it works. Why would the dog take you to the tape instead of back to Mike? What? Oh, I found the FBI. What? Look, someone worked for the FBI before starting at Style Factory. But who could that have been? It could only be Mike. <laughs> Why? Great, the game needs the FBI's involved. We can talk another day. I need to handle the dog. You mean that semi-transparent corset is not good enough? That is clearly not transparent, it's just like tinted to the same skin color, like old Street Fighter games. Well, time to go into Nelson's office directly because it's clearly not there and find the dog and, and tell it to smell something. Wait, did they just say I could pick up a stapler? I think I just saw a stapler that was out of place, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Did Mike use a stapler? May as well take it. You never know. Okay, so why can I enter the boss's... That laptop is smaller than that man's hands. What a tiny ass laptop! No, now's not the time for a chat. We need to take care of the dog. What do you mean you need to take care of the dog? We're not gonna kill the dog, Clara, stupid bitch. We're gonna use the dog. The... Wait, what's this? Not the painting. The signature... There's something on the ground. Is that Mike in that photo? So he used to be in the army. That's just the clue I was looking for. So wait, was the was the FBI picture not him? Sorry, the FBI tag. A, a lot of random stuff on the floor. What a love letter now? A letter from Miranda Stevenson, the editor of Icon Magazine. I wouldn't be surprised if her and Mike were friends. They're pretty similar. Aren't they? What do you mean they're pretty similar? Are you into racism now, Clara? Oh, right. It's a French game. I forgot about that. Racism is like eating alcohol for the French. Isn't that right, Quebec? I'm sorry. I just see something shiny. Is that the cup from Mike? This cup almost definitely belongs to Mike. He drinks loads of coffee to keep him awake on the night shift. Everyone drinks coffee. Why would you assume that's Mike? Why? You recognize it from the lip marks? Why did I... Why am I collecting... What's that now? Please, dog, save me from this game, honestly. Hey, what is that, a fish? I'm sure I saw Mike wearing this tie the day before yesterday. Yes, it must be his. I'll take it. Uh, is, is, uh, I just realized something. Is this like a job? Uh, this is, is this a house everybody lives in by mistake and pays mortgage on it or what? Just a minute, boy. As soon as I found something that belongs to Mike, I'll give it to you to have a good sniff of it. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Photo of Iraq. Okay. They spell. That's just call it a photo of Mike. Why Iraq? Iraq. First of all, Iraq is a Q, so I think that is like literally the translation from French to French, done through French with French. Why would you put the name Iraq and not Mike? Okay, stapler. Why would why would Mike use a stapler inside the boss's office? And why could I go in there? Okay, is that Mike or no? The badge. There's a picture. Just tell me, you stupid bitch. Also, there's a tie. Everybody wears a tie. Here, smell the rock. Come on, boy. Pick up the scent. Yeah, tell us where the oil is. Tell us that the Bush administration did it wrong, did it? Come on, boy, tell me. All these years, everybody failed. Clara is going, is going to finally solve it all. Don't give up now, Marty. You're on the right track. <laughs> This is the one's private lip. This is a special badge. Oh, you stupid bitch. Okay. Let's go, Marty. That way? Are you sure? No, I think we're gonna run into Mike, just saying. Okay, why did you never check here, Clara? Se se oh, I thought it said security. Never mind. Um, okay, that could open by itself. Why? Did you smell something? He smelled Mike. He smells bullshit, that's what he smells. Well, 
Well done, Marty. Good work. So, this is where all the CCTV tapes are kept. It's quite an impressive collection. Now, I just need to find the right one. Why wouldn't you check here previously? Why did you need the dog for that? Also, why is there a giant hole down there? What, so the dog can run away? So people don't feel bad about the dog? Marty's growling. That's not a good sign. Oh. Well, it's, it's telling me no. I understand, Marty. Not that one. The dog, the dog is so devoid of love that he's willing to help me that much. I understand. Thank you, Marty, for being the one sun ray of hope in this entire I thing. I got it, Marty. What is it, Marty? Is that the right tape? Are you sure? But how would Wonderful. Mar we found it. But how would Marty know which tape is the correct one? Doesn't Mike handle all the tapes? I don't know. I don't know how Marty would know if the tape... I, I have literally no idea. <laughs> Nobody touches the tapes. I don't even know who touches the tapes around here. But clearly Mike only touched that one tape his entire life. The rest of the tapes you know, are just all over the place with all the, all the Chinese dictionary books and petrochemicals in the background for some reason. Why... Why are there... Why... Those are Chinese books. Why? What are they doing in the security room? Good boy, Marty. I really owe you one. Without you, I'd never have found this cassette. I'll forget everything that's happened in the past. Now I know about your tracking skills. We make a great team, the two of us. Rock concert with a difference. The first lady, the vice president of the United States wife, needs a new outfit to attend a charity. Ah, uh, black, a black rectangular handbag. Oh, the president only pays me 150 only. Time to tart up the first lady of the United States of America. I'm sorry, it's you, Madam President. Young lady, I have agreed to attend a charity event next week and my Edith wardrobe advisor has gone and chosen right now to get sick. So I'm relying on you to make an outfit suitable for such an occasion. Ah, uh, so she's using another model. Oh, I see. Wait, is that... <laughs> she's just using a stand-in. She wishes she had a body like that. Top with a gathered bust or waistcoat without a shirt. I'm, I'm sorry, what? I'm, I'm sorry, what? Gray suit, pink top? What do you mean, pink top? Is, is this the right gray, or do I, do I need to make it lighter? No? Or or do you mean the opposite? Like, like this has to be pink. And, and this, this needs to be gray. You see, the problem is now the colors are changing. Can't just make it all pink. Um, pointed court shoes in black. Pointed court shoes. Pointed court shoes in black. It seems like that's the last color you'd want to use. Uh, but okay, sure, if you say so. And then black rectangular handbag. Although I need to ask the opinion of the seven advisors. Oh, this is acceptable. Ladies and gentlemen. We got him! The first lady of the United States of America. This is what she's gonna wear. I haven't time to look around at your work. Could you send me some photos? I hope I'm not going to be disappointed. Oh, trust me, you're not. Your husband is gonna be very happy about this. The official American building. Official American building! My favorite! I'm sorry, why are they calling it the official American building? Uh, it's not the White House, it's just another place that looks the same. Head and shoulders. Do, do I just need to focus on the head? Or, or is it supposed to be more? Lady of the United States, baby. Is this when Obama was still in office? Is, is this what they're trying to imply? See what happens if you eat healthy? You get to wear pink in the office. Um... Uh... 
I barely passed. Okay, the game has to be really broken because I'm still not understanding what they mean by composition is wrong with head and shoulders. I'm taking the head and shoulders! Shoulders sometimes in, shoulders sometimes not out, sometimes all of it, and still not accepted! Young lady, you're very talented! If you ever need a job, call me and you can take over from my current wardrobe advisor. Uh, I mean, no different than 2016 America, honestly. So I'm, uh, so I'm role-playing correctly. Society Picnic, Princess of the Night. What do you mean, Princess of the Night? Oh no, this has jewelry. Okay, I'm gonna do the ones without jewelry. I hate the jewelry. I'm sorry, every single one of them has jewelry now? Okay, except you. Divine Cosmetics or something it's called. Do I have everything for you? Yeah, I do. John Clark. Do you know who Divine Marlin is? Of course you know who Divine Marlin is. Who doesn't know who Divine Marlin is? Well, it's quite simple. All my mods have exactly the same makeup as her. Do you understand? That's why I'm gonna tell you what to do. Light Foundation. Any, just any, make her as white as a ghost. That's how the perfect women are, whiter than a ghost. And now, we're gonna go for a little bit of burgundy blusher. You do have burgundy, right? Or should I say, you know what burgundy is? So it's, uh, it's not mahogany. It, it's neither this, uh, nor that. Hold on, let me search for his burgundy. There it is. Yes. Yes, there we go with the burgundy. Time to burgundy it up. What a doll. Time for some red lipsticks. The redder it is, just like blood, the better it is. That's right, just slather it all over the place. Because this is no joke, I'm telling you. You think this is funny? You wanna know how she got these lipsticks? And after that, a beat sticker placed over the lips. What? What's a bead? This? <laughs> what? 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 This white stuff? <laughs> oh no! Uh, we. Oui, I want. I want the le bead. You know what's a bead? No, you don't know what's a bead. Why you so stupid, lady? Why you don't know what a bead is? A bead is a bead. Two blue beads. That's right, much. Time for some hot shadows. I love the shadows that are very dark. They show the essence of humanity. That's right. Make them grey. And uh, don't earn any points. Because uh, I do not accept this. Huh? I, I changed my mind. I want a uh, blue. I definitely changed my mind. I want the uh, blue. Grey is not acceptable. You thought grey was acceptable? Well, I changed my mind. It isn't. You see, this is the conundrum of an artist. He changes in real time what he wants out of his victims. I mean, uh, models. So now you're doing a good job, woman. We'll pay you go well in tokens. After that, we're gonna add the blue contact. Very important for the beautiful woman inside you. Like the ocean. Ah! That's a dolphin that I make. Uh, after that, we have the long, voluminous uh, black eyelashes or eyeliner. It's up to you, but as long as it's thicker, it's uh, beautiful. And that is not all. No tattoos, stop all these, a temple. Uh, do it as I say. Mid length hair. Very mid and very lengthy. Kind of like this, or maybe like this, or maybe like this. Keep on trying all the hairstyles until the hair falls out from stress. Because I'm not gonna tell you which one it is, you have to guess. It's the manly murderer one. I don't know why I couldn't tell you, but here it is. And it's blue dried, you know exactly what it is. And make it pure blonde. Change this woman completely to my standards. And then we put on the red nail vanish and no stickers. Because what is beauty with stickers? Make it as deep red as possible. To show the essence of blood. Just one line. To represent the beauty of inside being you. I mean the inside of a woman. Just like that color. There we go. Magnifique. Yes, I validate this woman now. <laughs> oh 
Oh boy. For my clients new cosmetic range, I want merely in the real thing, just like in the films. You see what I'm looking getting at? Full white skirts that fly up in the wind that are plunging a neckline. Can you dead for me or no? Or should I fire you? Now, listen to my words. First of all, top with a gutted blast and a plunging neckline. A short full skirt and full stockings. So, I want this. Or this. Or this. Or maybe not. I don't know what I want, I'm a man. And a full skirt. Those are gain a star. Uh, you, you gain a star. And then you cut it on the side. Or you just leave it full. Even though that skirt looks heavy and won't fly, but who cares? Or yeah, maybe this one. Not the long one. Was this better? Oh, was this better? That uh, looks better. Is this better? This looks fantastic, but no, this is not what we want. It's too much respect for the women. We can't have that here in France. We go with this, but it goes with the style pretty well. I'm still not sure with the top gutted blast. I guess we're gonna have to click around until you find it. If you don't, I fire you, and then I take your rights away. Not that you had any to begin with. Aha! We find it. We find the perfect combination. And there it is, all fully wrapped like a present on Christmas. And then we put on the silk stockings. I'm rushing for you to put on the silk stockings for some reason. I don't know, I'm that kind of man. No patterns. Only white or beige colors for purity. And a 50s tall shoe. Gonna turn this woman into my perfect wife. I mean, no. I mean, what? And it has to be white like an angel. After that, we give her a white cream or fur gem and satin handbag. And some gloves. And then... We give her the bag. Do you remember what the bag was? It was satin. You know satin? You like the satin or you don't like the satin? You don't tell me if you like the satin or not. There it is. Mwah. Magnifique. Perfect. Exactly the way I like my women. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is le joc. Don't worry, we in France are very progressive. And now we take some pictures. The dress wonderful, the makeup perfect. But for a poster, I need a photo. According to Nelson, you know how to use a camera. I don't believe him, but I will. So I wait till your shots, lady. First of all, vertical with a filter. Dark. Le dark. Vous savez le dark? Say, uh, black and white. Or any filter, I don't know. I'm not telling you anything for some reason. But also some fireworks per count. You want them fireworks to represent the soul that is blowing on this day. And I don't know why I told you to apply a filter. But I guess it's to hide the terrible pl polygons and pixels on that. Which we can definitely do. But we're gonna make it sepia as well. Now you take pictures in full portrait. That's right. Let her turn. Take a picture of her. Oh, look at those muscles on her back. Ooh. Magnifique. Oh, la la. Pretending she's taking a picture of us. And now she's mesmerizing you with her eyes. We apply the filter to hide the terrible makeup. That's what we are doing right now. And now part two. Still vertical photos, although it could change, you never know. And this time, we apply black and white to spice it up. Dark or firework background, full length. Or head and shoulder composition. Dealer's choice, you choose. But I say full. Striking a pose. Being flirty. That's right, pose, pose. C'est très magnifique, pose. Let the fireworks do the dancing behind you. You do the pausing, they do the dancing. And there, like an angel. Now hopefully when I said with a filter, I meant with a filter. I didn't mean no filter with a, with a spelling mistake. Also show me your backbones, woman. Can I show those backbones? Oh, you barely made it. Why? Because you, because I was, I, I meant to say no filter, but I said filter, you stupid bitch. Why didn't you know what the man meant? This is all your fault, woman. This is all your fault. This is not man's fault. Hey, barely passable. It's fine. 
And now we advertise our lipstick. Mwah. Amazing! You're young enough to still be playing hopscotch in your pigtails, but you've got that. <laughs> you, you, you've got enough to be still playing hopscotch in your pigtails like a little child. But you've got the talent of a top designer. Young lady, you are quite something. Nelson, can I have a quick word with you? It's mm -mm. about Scott. Yes, go on. What's the matter? Well, you must have noticed that Scott hasn't been himself over the last few months. Yes, I have. He seems withdrawn, anxious, on the defensive. Well, with me, he's been utterly hateful. <laughs> and his attitude has started to get worse since Clara, the new trainee, arrived. I'm sure that girl is a bad influence on him. Clara? Now that's news to me. Call them both to your office and see for yourself. What would he see if he called us to the office? That wouldn't change anything. My heart was beating a mile a minute as I walked down the corridor where the boss's offices were. Nelson Sullivan had summoned both Scott and I to his office, and it certainly wasn't to congratulate us. Apparently, my escapade the other night hadn't gone unnoticed. How was I going to get myself out of this? Show them the tape? Do you have the tape? Um, what do you do with the tape? <laughs> that scared me, honestly. Hey. Hello, Scott. Miss Willard. Please take a seat. I'll get straight to the point. I'm hearing a lot of rumors about your relationship, Miss Willard, with my son. And? What about your relationship with your wife is- Okay, can I ask you a serious question? Why is relationship between a husband and a wife running an office fine? Uh, but two colleagues getting on together is not? I don't know if there's any truth in them. What's more, it's none of my business. However, it's my responsibility to ensure Scott has the most peaceful working environment possible, and to remove- Dad, do you mind getting to the point? We haven't got the slightest idea what you're talking about. I'll make myself clearer then. I suspect this girl of getting her clutches into you so that she can get her hands on your money and power. Oh, the irony. Oh, top tier story writing French developers. But that's ridiculous. Mr. Sullivan, I assure you. If those are your intentions, Miss Willard, you'll have me to deal with. I won't let the fruits of a lifetime be ruined by the scheming plans of a trainee. Wh what? That's enough, Dad. You're out of line. You'd be better off keeping an eye on what's going on in your business than taking your anger out on an innocent girl. What do you mean? Don't pretend <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. Do you really think I don't know about Style Factory's dirty dealings? The animal trafficking? The embezzlement? The outlandish commissions paid to Mrs. Doherty on the back of the shareholders? Scott, I forbid you to say any more. Don't worry. I'll do better than that. I'm leaving Style Factory here and now. Scott! Come back here, right now! <laughs> <laughs> Scott is really about to leave, and it's all my fault. I must stop him from leaving. How is it your fault? You're not the one stealing money, you stupid bitch. <laughs> he just went up and stopped in front of the door. He at himself doesn't have the balls to go on with it. I'm leaving. Ah, me first, I leave first. A woman lives first. I can literally abandon. I'm gonna... And Scott, please listen to me. You what can I say to Scott to make him change his mind? This is all down to Kim. If you leave, she'll win. Do you really think so? Yes, you might be right. Well, that didn't require any convincing. It was ready to not quit, actually. This one definitely wouldn't take kindly to me going to his office for no good reason. I think he has a good reason, which is... Which is to say that your son is not leaving? I'm begging you. Give it some more thought. This is your whole life. But I just convinced him, didn't I? If you stick and help me put the steam to Kim's shady trafficking. Nelson disherited. You shouldn't disobey your father going to apologize. You shouldn't disobey your father. Go and apologize. Why should I? I can't stand him. No, I've made up my mind. I'm going. Well, actually... You can have inverted the text and audio files, you know, quality control. Um. Well, I'm gonna guess he's on the roof. Wait, what? I've got better things to do than go to the roof to get some fresh air and get blown off by the strong winds. 
Oh, he went directly to the basement. Oh, sorry, right, basement for the floor as well. There's two basements. Scott, don't go. It would be a disaster. The new winter collection is about to be launched. You can't leave now. If you leave, your whole team will be fired. And where will leave if you left? You've got nowhere to go. What? He has nowhere to go? What? He still lives with his dad? The whole team will be fired. And where would you live if you left? You've got nowhere to go. That's what you think. Actually, I've got plenty of friends who'd put me up. I've made up my mind. I'm out of here. Why is it playing all the wrong audio files? Listen to me, Scott. You have to stay. Nelson will sue you. You have signed a contract with South Actor. You have to honor it. If you leave, who will take over from your father? If you leave, who will take over from your father? A large shareholder, probably. It'd be the end of Style Factory. You're right. I need to give this some more thought. So, are you, or do I still need to beg cock out of you or something? Scott, just one last time. Don't do anything silly. I think I convinced him like four times. Do French people not get convinced on the first try? If you leave, there'll be no one to protect me from Kim. Oh, see, I'm gonna guilt trip him. If you leave, there'll be no one here to protect me from Kim. What do you take me for? When I've made up my mind about something, I stick to it. <laughs> Listen, Clara, I've given this a lot of thought. <laughs> Did you? You've made me realize that Style Factory needs me. So many people here trust me. I can't just abandon them all on a whim. <laughs> what? what? That's okay if you say so. I mean, 12 employees, yeah, I guess. Well said. And besides, I've got something to tell you. What? You made me pregnant by mistake? What? It's a bit embarrassing. I've never said this to a girl before. <laughs> or not seriously, anyway. This time... Well, the thing is... I love you. <laughs> One night stand and he loves me. Oh, Scott. Oh, Scott. Here. This is for you. What is it? Just a little present. I wanted to give it to you before my father summoned us. I had your name engraved on it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Look at her portrait. She's so smug about it. No, I want to thank you. You've changed my life. See, girl? See? All you gotta do is sleep with a guy once and you change his life. He starts becoming an incel and complaining about things and uh, shit talking everyone. See? What an. Man. Mwah! Art, art. This game is art. This game is art. This game is art. Art, art! I, I, I like how the entire game is just about tarting up people. He called me too. Okay, I'm not gonna do that accent. The heroine of my Nova is a young student in today's China, so try and use the character as inspiration for the makeup to use on the model. Who will we'll be put on the book's cover? Sure thing. A light foundation. Pow, 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 pow. Making my girls white as ghosts. Pow, don't move your face, you stupid bitch. Let me make it all white, yeah. Why is your chin not getting covered? I don't know, and I only gained one and a half points. Oh, oh. Yellow, orange, blusher. Yellow, orange, blusher. Yellow, orange, blusher. Orange. Where's orange? I can't see the orange. Where's the orange? There it is. Apricot orange. Mmm. Let's give you a little bit of sunburn. That's it? That's all the points I got, huh? Huh? This is art. What more do you want? Oh, listen to the guitar. Ooh, ooh, you're splitting me, game. Ooh. Blue eyeshadows. Black contact lenses. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Time for some black contact lenses and eyeliners. Can't tell which one is better. All of them look the same, it's better. Black eye contact lenses, we have brown. Because black is unnatural on the eyes, yeah. Double bun hairstyle in black, oh yeah. Where's double buns? Oh, this? The UFO again? Black hairstyle? There is, uh, there is something weird going on. I don't know why it's always uh, the, this specific combination. Yellow, orange, nail, varnish. 
Did it need to be filed? No, no, no. Orange, like a carrot. Orange, like a carrot. Orange, like a carrot. Some Asian stickers, many kind. It doesn't really matter now, does it? Uh, 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 uh. There we take it on each finger. Novus her heroine has been able to break away from certain Chinese traditions. Oh, it's Mulan! But she still holds on to a few. Your job is to dress in a modern style that maintains some subtle hints of traditional style. Don't worry, leave it all to me. I know how to make a woman progressive. Long or short tiered skirt? Oh yeah, long or short tiered skirt. What they actually mean is this. Progressive I am, don't worry about this. Strapless bare shoulders, top, 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 top. Traditional. Traditions, I love them, yeah. Oh no, it has to be strapless. Wrap over jacket with white sleeves. Wrap over jacket with wrap sleeves. Ooh, traditional designs. Honoring your parents that are dead, dead, dead. Ooh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Some Asian patterns. Coins, baby. For some good luck. I don't know why that didn't increase the uh, points. I guess I don't know anything about different cultures. 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 Why? Why? I don't know. Why? Why? Maybe this. Or this. Or this, this, this. This, this, or this, I don't know. Please tell me which one is the one that you want. Fine, very well, I shall right now just put on some good luck coins. What colors? Pale yellow and gold. Remember, she's a modern girl with hints of culture appropriation behind her. I've seen your work, it's absolutely wonderful. Now all you need to do is take a few photos so I can choose one of them to put on the cover of the book. Vertical, no filter, an Asian garden, any kind, portrait or head and shoulders, portrait, oh portrait. I am gonna keep a portrait. Asian gardens, what do they look like? I don't know. Temple in a Zen garden, is that good enough? I don't know. Oh, oh, where are you? Oh no, she moved. She shouldn't. She has no rights. Just taking pictures, getting taken with my BMW. Oh yeah, look at her looking at the sky, hoping for some rights. Mm -mm. There we go. Everything! Wonderful! I've seen the photos, they're amazing, and I've decided which one I'm going to use on the cover. Keep it a surprise for you until the book comes out. PEACE! Hello Clara, my charity dinner I'd like to give me quite a subtle makeover. It's not a jet set party, so I'd like something quite simple. Yeah, simple, defines it. A very pale foundation, pink blusher, no lipstick. Yeah, I can see, very simple. How much of this do you need? So, you, so eyeshadows cover the entire, die, entire eye, not die. That's what you get the maximum amount of points. Okay. Gray eyeshadow. Yeah? Hot gray. Um, the game seems to have a lot of spelling mistakes. It, it just told me gray shadow and it's like no at the same time. You know, it's like a yes and a no and then it's a conundrum. Huh? Okay, I barely got half a point out of that one. Brown contact lenses. I know the type of bounce you like. Okay, see? No, this is all wrong. This is not long and bouncy. This is not bouncy. Bouncy means this, but okay, you know, it's a French game, so it's a French game. Uh, gray streaks. Why, you're getting old? 
Just make her gray completely? What do you mean gray streaks? The entire hair is gray. Just... I, I'm sorry, why did I just turn you into a grandma? Why am I turning into an old lady? Uh, wait, what did what? Gem stickers. Oh, aren't you a gem? Okay, let's make you tacky. You know, she, she did say she wanted something very simple. She did say she wanted something very simple, looking like a grandma, I guess, to go undercover at a charity event to expose all the evil rich people that abuse children or something. I don't know. Ha! Hi, Clara. Don't you recognize me? I'm an old lady. I like to make a long dress that is both elegant and not too flashy. I don't want to be shouting, look at me. The same, the same applies to the color. It's trying to stick shades of gray and black. What? Are you undercover? What is going on? Open, open back top with a v-neck or front cross straps over the bust. Don't worry. No guy is totally gonna pay attention to you in this dress. Don't worry. Don't worry. No, don't, don't worry. I, I can guarantee you nobody's gonna look at you in this dress. Long draped skirt with no stockings. Don't worry, grandma. Nobody's gonna pay attention to you. Nobody. Interweaving patterns, no prints. You mean interlaced? <laughs> what color? Gray and black. She's a very humble lady, okay, I guess good enough. Shoes black, you know, very simple, very humble. Don't worry, no guy of any Come, age. Clara, I think I owe you an explanation. Do you? Yes, the other day in your father's office, your reaction seemed. How shall I put it? A bit over the top. Because you only know half the truth. If Style Factory is having animals delivered at night by helicopter, it's not just so they can use them in simple tests. Our creams and lipsticks are tested on these poor creatures secretly in our laboratory in the basement, without the slightest regard for health regulations or medical protocols. <laughs> <laughs> Why? To make money, of course. <laughs> Normally, it takes years to fully test a product before it can be put on the market. At Style Factory, it takes about 10 days. That's awful. Yes, and it has to stop. I've decided to put an end to it. Unfortunately, there's very little I can do on my own. Our only chance is to stir up public opinion. If this were to get out, then Kim would have to backpedal fast. She'd be too scared about getting on the wrong side of my father. Why don't we get in touch with a journalist? Good idea. I've got someone in mind, Sophia Gondry. She's the editor of Fashion Dawn magazine and one of the biggest names in the fashion world. Unfortunately, I don't have her number. I'll try and find it. Okay, see you later. Please tell me. I must find that journalist's number, but where shall I start? Let's see. If Scott doesn't have it, then who would? The only person I can think of is Nelson. Which Nelson? I just love it how she's just talking to herself there. You know, I like to imagine people are just coming in and out and they're like, is she talking to herself? Why is she emoting? Is she Italian by mistake? Goodness, the staff list with all of their phone numbers. But that's of no use to me right now. What do you mean, with no use of you two right now, now, now? What, not gonna use the FBI badge? Do I have everything else with me? I have a... Ch oh, oh, the chain that he professed his love to me. Okay, you know the routine, we have to go through everything that you can imagine. Is Nelson gonna be pissed off with me? I mean, it seems like everybody has Alzheimer's, so he's definitely gonna forget about this. Okay, I can't talk to my boss from the front of the desk, I have to go behind him. Excuse me, but I really don't have time right now. Okay, my bad. Okay, so you're not angry with me. It's, it's, it's a very cold, it's a very cold situation. Everybody's just, you know, not being friendly with each other right now. What is what does this stupid bitch do in the entire day? She does nothing. Carol isn't very talkative. Oh my god, nobody wants to talk. I got it. So who's gonna talk if nobody? Okay, who's on the helicopter pad? What the model died there? I can steal a phone number from her? What I I drive the helicopter down? No. Uh maybe it's into the basement. Uh but where can she get the hold of her number? Um, maybe start phone calling some people? Hello, Mr. McAllister. I need the phone number of Sophia Gondry, the editor of Fashion Dawn. Sorry, Clara, I haven't got it. Sophia played a nasty trick on me in the past. Since then, we haven't really gotten along. 
I haven't spoken to her for years. Nasty trick what you put some pills in your coffee. I see. Have a nice day, Miss. Steve Anderson, who's Steve? Hello, Steve. Claire is speaking. I'm looking for a phone number, and I thought, what with your contacts... Whose number? Sophia Gondry's, the editor of Fashion Dawn. Sorry, I haven't got it. My contacts, as you put it, are more film-based. When did I say that? Okay. Can't... No, it's Scott? Nelson? Carol? Hello, Carol. It's Clara. I need Sophia Gondry's number, the editor of Fashion Dawn. And you think I've got it? <laughs> if only... You'd be better off asking Kim or Nelson for it. Okay, bye. Okay, Scott. Oh, great. There's no reply. Scott must have... Huh? Wait, why would Scott have it right now? D don't we plan... Oh, hey, the dog likes Scott now. It's me. One last thing. Do you think Nelson might have Sophia Gondry's number? Yeah, he might have it. He's probably got it saved on his laptop, but it won't be easy to get into. You need a code to use it. Have you got it? No. As far as I know, Marty's the only one who's got it. What? Marty? Kim's dog? Exactly. The code's engraved on the back of the metal on his dog collar. I know that might sound strange. Another of my stepmother's wonderful ideas. But why? What's the point of doing something like that? So, all I need to do is find the metal. That won't be easy. Marty's lost it. What? <laughs> so now I need to try and persuade a dog to show me where he keeps his metal? This isn't going to be easy. Well, I may as well give it a go. Good luck. Wait, why? Okay. So the wife, well, the future wife, essentially, but like, let's say the wife, just for the abbreviation. The wife engraved the husband's laptop code, which I don't know what kind of code it might be. The login, the password? Or like a special code for the phone numbers on the laptop? Uh, first of all, it doesn't make any sense. But she engraved the code, the password, on the dog's collar's medal. Why? What does... What is this soap opera gonna add? Hey, guess what? Come on, Marty. Nice doggy. What did you do with your medal? Go on. Go the, fetch. The dog got rid of it, so he saves himself. You're in Marty's shoes now. It's up to you to find a medal. <laughs> oh boy. Let's bite you. I can't talk to you. I can't bite you. Can I bite you? Sorry, but I haven't got time now. What? Uh, you don't have time to listen to the dog that's telling you what to do? You stupid bitch. Um... Can the dog access a PDA? Oh, the dog can access a PDA, I see. The dog has also opposable thumbs, it can open doors. <laughs> can the dog appreciate the painting? Yeah, the dog can appreciate the painting. Uh, where can the dog fast travel? Okay, the dog can also fast travel out of places. Um, okay, the dog is gonna fast travel with the elevator downstairs. Can the dog make a phone call? Am I gonna pee on the plants? Where would the dog hide a mat? What do I know? What dogs do? Oh, wait, maybe I need to go to the quote-unquote bitch. Oh. Well, she's gonna kick me. That's it, boy. Good boy. Come here and let me give you a kiss. No. Oh, maybe it's hidden somewhere in the garden. Oh, there it is. I, I like how the developers just put all the puzzles and things in one room. They couldn't figure out what to do. There, I got the medal. And now I teleport back to Scott's room. Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> Thank you, Marty. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted. Well, how about that? That dog's not as dumb as I thought he was. <laughs> Shut up, Scott. Stop making fun of him. Marty's very smart. Hey, I've got an idea. Since I need to get on Nelson's computer, I'm gonna see if Marty can coax him out of his office. Good luck. You'll see. Now, Marty, listen carefully. Would you like to play with Nelson? You know Uncle Nelson? He's got a new toy for you. Yes, it's a surprise. Go, boy, go. Go see Uncle Nelson. And you think he understood that? Every word. 
Do you want to bet on it? Okay, you're on. Yeah, he understood every single one of that. <laughs> kind of a cop-out answer, no? If the player's controlling it, of course the player understood. Unless the player is a dog. Dorothy, it's Nelson. I've got the samples ready for our new cream, Moonface. Huh? Have you called the courier yet? Make sure you get someone reliable. They're top secret prototypes. If a journalist finds them, we're done for. I put them in an envelope. Here you are. Let me know when the courier gets here. Wolf, wolf. I'm gonna steal your envelope. Watch out, nothing onto you. Don't understand. Don't just stand there, run. But mind the rooms you go into. If there's only one way out, you might get trapped. What? Is the giant man gonna chase me? That's enough messing around, Marty. Do as I say. Come here now. Heal. No. What? You can't chase me? Ah, you can't chase me. <laughs> Poor French developers can't program two lines of code. Oh, I'm a human as well. Okay, where can I run off to? With my liberté? Everything seems to be closed off, so I don't know where I'm supposed to run off to as a dog. Huh? Oh, I can't teleport. That's a secret. Just run outside in the streets, maybe get hit by a car? I don't believe it. That dog's going to be the death of me. Come back here right now. Why are you smiling? Oh no, that's just what I was afraid of. Marty's outside. I may as well forget it. I'll never get that envelope back now. What? Well, listen, Marty are playing at Cat and Mouse in the streets of Manhattan. Scott, you've lost your bet. I've just this minute seen Marty being chased by your father. Really? Have a look out the window if you don't believe me. <laughs> I don't believe it. That dog's a star. Right. We haven't got a moment to lose. Nelson is nowhere to be seen. I've got the password. Now's our chance to use his computer. So what was the password? Marty? Just the dog's name? I like to imagine that's what the developers tried to imply, but because they translated French into French and then into English and then into French and then into English again, followed by Turkish and then into English again, this is what they got. Hello, Mr. Sullivan. Welcome to the Sullivan Corporation Network. What would you like to do? Nice laptop. Is that the Toshiba 950? Read your messages. Consult your address book. Consult your address book. <laughs> okay. His contacts are listed alphabetically. That shouldn't be too hard. Let's see. Gondry, Gondry. Aha! Secretary of Sophia Gondry, Fashion Dawn Magazine. It's in the bag. Yeah! Sophie Gondry's number has been added to the list. Hello, Mr. Sullivan. Read your messages. <laughs> Inbox. Yes, why not? With any luck, Nelson will have had some emails from Sophia Gondry. Let's see. There you go. That message. Dorothy, would you be so kind as to write an email to the attention of Sophia Gondry, the editor of Fashion Dawn? It's about our women's summer collection. This is more or less what I want to say. The look will be young, stylish, and casual. The emphasis will be on warm colors in natural fabrics. Huh. This year, it's all about short skirts. No more trousers or dresses. Please see to that as soon as you can. Nelson Sullivan. Is that what the top CEO of Ubisoft wanted women to wear as? No telephone number. Okay, I've got the number. Now all I need to do is call Mrs. Gondry. It's a shame I haven't got her cell phone number. I doubt her secretary will let me talk to her. Unless... Unless... Hello, is this Sophia Gondry's secretary? This is Dorothy Sato. Ah, you're Mr. Sullivan's personal assistant. That's right, but while I've got you, you couldn't confirm the details of your summer collection to me, could you? I got your email, but I could only make out the first few lines. All the others were blanked out. What? Sophia Gondry's secretary is referring to an email. Can you remember what it said? Yeah, we just read it. Wait, why, why would the... Wh wait, are, are you trying to say emails? Emails cannot get corrupt. Shut the fuck up. If you type a text, it can't get corrupt unless you corrupt. <laughs> oh, I see in the fashion world, they gotta make sure if you're the real person by asking you what your email sent last time. Yes, I remember perfectly. 
She must be referring to the email I saw on the computer. Lucky I remembered. Oh, I'm such a smart girl. Yes. What did you want to know exactly? Could you tell me a bit more about it? What type of collection is it? It's winter. Brrr. It's a summer collection. What look is the collection going for? Casual or sophisticated? Casual. Is the emphasis mainly on warm or cold colors? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> there isn't a dominant shade. Cold colors. By the way, <laughs> is the collection for men or women? Neither. Our collection is aimed at children in short skirts. <laughs> Neither of those. Our collection is aimed at children. Have you favored natural or synthetic fabrics? Our designs. <laughs> natural fabrics. Are the skirts generally short or long? Why? Why is this a question? What? What do you mean the email was blank? Our designers don't see things in those terms. They believe that way of thinking is outdated. What? Last year there were a lot of trousers in your collections. Is that the case this year? No, we haven't got any trousers what? this year. Thanks for your help, Miss Sato. You've been most helpful. I'll put you through to Mrs. Gondry now. Uh, but if I if I answer them wrong, would anything change? What? What? I I think French people don't know how to talk to each other on the phone. Thank you. Hello. Why is your artwork so low quality? Hello, Mrs. Gondry. Clara Willard speaking. I'm a trainee at Style Factory. What? But. Please, hear me out. I pretended to be Nelson Sullivan's secretary so I could speak to you directly. I've got some very important things I need to tell you about Style Factory. Go on. I've discovered the company is involved in illegal animal trafficking in order to bypass statutory health controls. Rather than being monitored over several months as required by law, their products are put on the market after just a few days testing in a secret laboratory. If what you say is true, this is absolutely scandalous. Scandalous. My thoughts exactly. The problem is, I can't release this information without any tangible proof. Have you got any photos or any witnesses? No, I haven't, unfortunately. Try and find some. Then I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much, Mrs. Gondry. I'll take care of it. Good luck. So, the, how how long is this game, honestly? I find this game impressively long for all the wrong reasons. This game should not be long as it is. Wh why are games like this long? Oh yeah, that's right, because you do two hours of this and then five minutes of story. Claire, I have to admit I absolutely love silver jewelry. If you could make some necklaces, bracelets, and earrings in silver, that would be wonderful. Oh yeah, also I need to keep popping out my objective thing. Lots of silver beads and pendants with no precious stone. Three silver necklaces. Oh yeah, this is why this game takes so long, because I gotta do this every time as well. Okay, I have an idea. Let me start off with the earrings. Two silver clips with two silver beads. Oh my god, I forgot you look terrifying. And then, what do you want for the bracelets? Three silver? With silver blee 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 blee. The, I, I'm pretty sure these developers were hoping to make the next sins. What they realized is they made the next nothing. That's what they did. Okay, good enough. Okay, what's the next one? The catwalk? Uh, wait, what did I dress her up as? Oh, we're to the villa now. Clara, Clara, I haven't had time to look at your work. Could you arrange a show for me on a sort of private mini fashion show? Sure, anything for you, my queen. Oh, yeah, the old man in Monroe. For the simple woman inside us all. Very simple old lady. Two star, baby. Two star. It's all Gucci. It's all Gucci. What a sad music. I mean, yeah, I guess it's for old ladies. It has to be sad. They're gonna die soon. They'll die before the show is even over, I think. Don't worry. When she goes to the to the show, all nobody will notice her. She did ask for a humble outfit. This is very humble. This is as humble as we can get. Nobody will notice her, except the Russian SUVs in the background from the Mafia. Oh, that was so fast! Ooh! Ooh, the game is trying to get me on the technicality, ooh! Oh no, I only got one star and I'm already full on stars. Look at her.
Did she just trip? I'm, I'm surprised she didn't trip and fly the water and die. Maybe break her bones in the process. Ah. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to take pictures as well, I think. I'm not sure if I don't take the picture, it might fail me or not. The game might be, you don't take pictures, so we're gonna fail you. You don't take pictures of an old woman walking on the... Uh, well, like, like, by the way, wouldn't it be wet over there and you just fall and die? And the last one is photography. What, she don't watch the show, so she's like, send pictures now? Clara, the people are organizing dinner would like to see the sponsors dress before the big night. Would you send them some photos of your work? Sure thing. Two vertical, no filter on a gray or black background, any composition. All class. Just shows your back yet. Yeah, that's exactly what we need to see from the dress. Why is that pose even an option? This is a game about dress and it's, it's like horizontal, no filter, and portrait. Well, good luck to me. I think this is portrait, yeah. I mean, these are the same exact pictures except closer. Oh, the, oh, the camel. Uh, sorry, Chanel, not Camel. Sorry. She's pondering her life choices. I'm almost done. I mean, I don't know how long this game is gonna be for tonight. I, Clara, I'm already for the chatty dinner. You've done a marvelous job, marvelous job. You're really a multi-talented young lady. Thanks, thanks, mom. Thanks. Do I need anything for you? Okay, let me see if I can complete this tonight. Man, I hope it finishes soon. This has been a long experience for no reason. Hello, Clara. I'd like to come up with a chic little number for my showcase in the Bois Hevert Hippodrome Elegance Contest. Nelson is insistent that I take part in it, so I'm counting on you. Anything for you, Natasha? I mean, uh, I already forgot her name. One or two strap halter neck top, draped asymmetric skirt, short fur jacket. Okay, pink. Everything pink. Everything pink. Pink until your eyes burn out. Pink gloves. Okay, I like how it's like all these different pinks. Garden party pink hat. This looks terrible with the color. A uh, pink jet glass, of course. Well, you're very needy. And a pink handbag. There, bye Barbie. Russian Barbie, and I've seen everything. Once again, you've impressed us all with your talents. Now you're a hip designer. You're one of my top collaborators. So congratulations, and let's get out the sh- <laughs> The game is like, shut the fuck up, old man. Nobody cares. Nobody has a champagne. All, all the teenage girls and boys playing this game, they don't- they cannot drink champagne. Clara, I'm going to need some jewelry to go with my outfit for the Boisvert fashion show. I know that you're more than capable of doing that, so over to you. Thanks, any day. Uh, silver clips and pink or white cream pearls or cultured, cultured pearls. Ah, ah, white or cream pearls. Your mom, your mom would know about that. The best part is you have to do this in verse. Also, I like how these things are defying gravity. The best part is you have to do these in verse so you know which items they want. Otherwise, you're going to spend the next half an hour looking through everything for the necklace. They're good enough. No, I don't need the opinion of seven old men, thanks. <laughs> Those look disgusting, man. I suspected Kim of being involved in the illegal trafficking of animals, but the journalist had asked me for proof. Where could I get it from? I thought it might be a good idea to go back to the basement and actually go into the laboratory Scott had told me about to take a few photos. With what? You guys don't have phones apparently in this universe. For that, I needed a camera, and of course to get into the laboratory. Only Scott could help me. What, your phone cannot take pictures? When was this game made by the French developers, never? Hello Steve, I've got a question for you. It's a bit awkward. Do you know the Sullivan Tower well? He's still talking on the phone. I don't understand. What do you mean? <laughs> have you ever been down to the basement? What for? It doesn't matter. Sorry to have bothered you. No worries. Bye. No worries? Who the fuck do you think you are to tell me no worries that I bothered you? Shut the fuck up, Donatello! Hello, Scott. 
I need your help again to try and put a stop once and for all to the experiments being done on those poor animals. If I managed to take some photos, we'd have proof of the trafficking that Kim's involved in. Okay. How can I help you? Um, do, do you know where I can get a hold of a camera? A camera? Well, you could try huh. the photography workshop. Yeah, like, why are you even asking a stupid question like that? Good idea. I should have thought of that. Yeah, you stupid bitch. <laughs> and? Okay, is that it? I just need a camera? It's it's right next door. I'm gonna go guess women in France have a very hard time having rights. If this is what the average game developer thinks of them as. I mean, apparently I need permission before I can do anything. This is of no use to me right now. It's a cello tape, and it's the first time I see it, so of course it is. Hello, Scott. I need your help again to try. Okay. How can I help you? Can you get me into the laboratory on the fifth basement floor? Sorry. No. That room is under constant surveillance. Entry to it is controlled by a fingerprint recognition system. Kim is one of the few people who ever goes in there. And to top it all, an alarm goes off at the slightest attempt to get in. An alarm? Yes, but don't worry. I know how to turn it off. Then why don't you... But that doesn't solve everything. How can we imitate a fingerprint? Use a cup. No idea. Right. To get into the lab without being noticed, <gasps> I need to pass the fingerprint recognition test. Perhaps if I use Kim's prints, I can fool the machine. I need to find some objects Kim has been handling. Use the cello tape to, like, take the finger fingerprints. I'm not going to load myself down. You stupid bitch, are you for real? Bitch, bitch, the, the caller. You have to be joking. De uh, why Why did they start buying time all of a sudden in the game? That's why I just hate. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to, I don't know, solo tape the man's dick or something. The stapler is back. Kim often uses the stapler. Right. Now I need to find... It's cold in the other room, you stupid, 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 stupid creature. I don't see what I could do with this. I don't see why. I don't. Are you serious? Okay, talk to Emmanuel. Explain. Sorry, but I. Hey, you. Let me guess. Let me guess. I have to ask another woman for advice on how to use a cello tape. Hello, Carol. Do you know anything about removing fingerprints? <laughs> yeah, it's called using a knife. Not a thing. But ask Steve. <gasps> He's played quite a few detective roles in police films. Oh, yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Thanks for the tip. Ah, oh, la. You're welcome. Have a good day. Me, dum dum. Me, not understand. <laughs> Me, not put two and two together. Hello, Steve. Hi, Clara. Have you ever played the role of a detective in a police film? Yes, I have. Why? I was just wondering how police <laughs> get a hold of people's fingerprints when they don't have the proper equipment. Use Google, bitch. Oh, that's easy. Find an object the person's been holding and put some transparent, slightly sticky tape over it. Clear tape, for example. No. The fingerprint will then appear on the tape. Well, you also need to dust it, actually. And, like, because unless the person has really oily hands, it doesn't. I've tried this. I've tried this so many times as a kid. You can barely see it. You can barely see it. Because it's a combination of having oily hands and the dirt that the tape collects. So if you don't have that proper combination, you know, if, if you have, if you have like clean hands, basically, on a clean environment, the, most of the time it won't leave like the proper amount of residue behind for you to pick up. Uh, that also includes moisture sometimes. It's a whole thing. As a kid, trust me, I tried it. I'd never have thought of that. Thanks for the tip. You're welcome, Clara. Yeah, thanks for a tip. Just don't teach it on your girlfriend, I guess, as they say. Hey, Scott, remember that random cello tape that you have? Cello tape, cell, you could sell, you know, sell, sell, sell. Excellent. Clear tape. I can use it to stick Kim's prints on. Great. It works. I should be able to get into the lab with this. <laughs> what happened to the stapler? Did you delete it? Time to hack the system with a chewing gum. What a brainwave! The door is opening! What do you mean, what a brainwave? What's a brainwave? Good. The door's unlocked, but there's still the matter of the alarm to deal with. I'd better call Scott and see what he can do. So that entire thing where you're like, Scott, that's useless, wham, 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 turns out it was useful in the end, huh? Scott, 
It's Clara. Everything's fine. I managed to open the lab door. Well done. I'll take care of the alarm and call you back. Let's see. I know that all the alarms in the building are controlled by one central panel. Don't tell me it's the one with the fuse upstairs. Oh, Scott is fast! Finally, see, it takes a man to be fast. Fast man is all... Bam, ba -dam, bam. Everything's locked off? Except dad's office? Why? Huh? It's not there either. What do you mean it's not there either? Oh my god, it's supposed to be back here. I, I start because I've started but unlucky. Because I started from the back side, it already it already spoiled itself. Great. That's just what I was looking for. Now let's see how to switch off the alarms in the basement. Search for basement? That should do it. You better hurry and let Clara know. Don't I have to manually call the phone? I mean, I like that you have the same phones, both pink PDAs, you know, it's, it's a pink PDA for the ladies. Hi, Clara. Mission accomplished. The alarms have been switched off. Excellent. Keep me posted. Bye. Why would that thing be in your dad's office? Now I direct Clara. But didn't I already do this? Why am I still at the back? Okay, let's go. So this is the famous laboratory on the basement fifth floor. What a horrible smell. It's worse than I'd imagined. And all these poor animals in those tiny cages. How do they survive? This can't go on. This trafficking has to be reported. <laughs> the chains and shackles in the corner on the wall. The handcuffs are all bent. The animals must have been struggling to free themselves. Wh what? Uh, okay. Uh, wh uh, what? Every single animal had like one chain? Time to use my uh, Nokia. The handcuffs are all. Sorry, not Nokia. The photo of the end cane chain stuff has been taken. Don't give up now. I'll soon get you out of here. What, not cage number two? Those must be them. Four numbered keys. Come on, let's get to work. What do you mean, let's get... What is that? Is that a rabbit? A cat? A boxer? And another cat. So these developers really had, hate cats. Two times the cat being abused. That's the last time I used those creams. <laughs> Yeah, fight the power, girl! Fight the evil! Who would ever want to wear Eclat Ardent perfume again after having seen these pictures? Have you met old ladies? They don't care. What? Why is everything pink and white and, like, dildo-colored? I hate to think what those poor animals have gone through on this operating table. Well, during an operating table, you just apply the lipstick on a cat or a dog. That's the entire thing. You don't operate on them. Okay, so did I get everything, or...? Yep, that's all I got. That's all I need to get. Right? Or do I open the panel now? Claire managed to photograph several items adapted with these photos. Sophia Gondry will have enough proof to publish an article denouncing Kim. Okay, so do I leave? Or do I call? Okay, I can't call her. So now I leave. I've got no good reason to be in this room. Huh? Oh my god, I picked up random keys! Also, what do you mean I have no re good reason? Uh, was this cage number four? I think it was cage number four. Okay, I'm gonna free a cat with a key. Come on, out you come. You don't have to be scared. You're a human, of course it's gonna be scared. Was that cat shaved? Time to free out the boxer. Out you come, hurry up. 
What are they gonna attack all the all the evil employees now? They're, they're gonna turn into zombies as well. Don't be scared. You can come out now. I feel like half of these animals could just squeeze out of the cage, but that's like just my opinion, man. There you go. You're free. Now I grew a picture, all the animals show the abuse. Out you come. Hurry up, quick, faster. <laughs> Run for it and don't come wandering around here again. What? what? How would the animals get back in the basement? How would the animals accidentally walk back in a basement? <gasps> Barry! We went all the way to France for just a catwalk. Mr. Seven doesn't want to go anything wrong at Bois Vert. Absolutely sure I'm ready. He asked me over to his house so we can run through the show together. I'm relying on your help. We traveled all the way to Paris at his house to make sure your, your Barbie fashion works. Are you sure about this? Oh, look, James Bond. So... Are these Tom Cruise people in the background just getting paid money uh, to just watch a woman go up and down, up and down, up and down Versace's? Oh, look, she's turning around about. Ooh! Ooh, art, 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 art. This is art. This is art. This is all. Oh, look at you. She's looking at the cameraman. Oh, hi, girl. Hi. Ooh. Ooh, don't tease me. Ooh. Where? Don't fall. You might die! <laughs> oh, she's gonna do the pirouette! She's gonna spin! Spin like an angel! No, wait, she didn't. She just turned... Oh, there we go. Well, actually, you know... Uh, okay, okay, this is understandable. Because she has high heels, she can't simply pirouette, you know? It's dangerous. Oh, she did not do the pose muscle! Ooh, she's gonna muscle it! Look at her, reach for the skies! Ooh! Ah! Mm -hmm. I like how her hair is clipping through the hat. Eh. Ooh, spin, baby, spin. And don't fall. She just technically V-posed in the corner. So this guy has a walkway just in his mansion in Paris? Where he tells women what to do? Is this his living room? How do people, how, do you, how does he have guests over? Oh, sorry, my bad, he doesn't. He can't... He, uh, guests are too peasant for him. I like all the free artwork in the background. I wonder if these French developers paid their own countrymen money for the art or they just stole it. Do you think the Ubisoft employees, like, they went to a French museum and they, like, took pictures with hidden cameras, you know? When they tell you not to take pictures and then they went back home and they edited pictures back into the game. That's how they saved money before they got sued by the government. Everything's perfect, Clara. And thanks all to you, I'm ready to strut my stuff in Bois Vert Elegance Contest. Strut my stuff. Oscars Jewelry, Gothic Series.